Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today I'm going to show you a case of fibromatosis coli. This was a case report of a neonatal torticollis and that was published as an e-poster in Afsum 2024. Unfortunately, uh, due to the visa related issue, I couldn't attend that session, uh, but my poster got published there. So it's quite a um, disturbing situation for me that I couldn't be there. Um, but uh, fortunately, it was got published. And if you were there, you may or may not uh, have seen that thing. Anyway, so let's start. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a demonstration as I couldn't be there to demonstrate uh, there. Anyway, so... The fibromatosis coli is a benign and rare condition affecting the stanocleidomastoid muscle in neonates and infants. Uh, there is a focal or diffuse stanocleidomastoid muscle enlargement, uh, which produces a pseudotumor. And it's uh, quite common in male patients, but it's really a rare case with a reported prevalence of 0.4% only. And the pathogenesis is uh, quite uh, easy. Sometimes it may be uh, not easy and confusing, may not be understandable, but usually it is due to or as a consequence of birth trauma uh, during normal vaginal delivery or maybe uh, during the instrumental delivery due to the malposition uh, during a delivery, there will be an intramuscular hemorrhage. And after that hemorrhage, uh, there will be a fibrosis of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which actually uh, creates the condition. So clinically, the neonate or infant usually presents uh, with a uh, unilateral firm to hard neck swelling with or without painful restricted neck movement, which is known as torticollis. And uh, for investigation, we uh, usually diagnose it clinically. If you need any investigation procedures, definitely the high frequency ultrasound is the preferred imaging modality. You also can do CT scan, but uh, uh, to see the fat plane and calcification especially, but due to its radiation hazards, we uh, actually don't do it uh, routinely. So we will focus on the high frequency ultrasound, definitely. As management procedure, we uh, usually manage it conservatively uh, with observation and exercise. So patient counseling is very important here. And only physiotherapy may cause spontaneous evolution in uh, four to eight months. And rarely you may need surgical intervention. This is very rare, so better. You should properly counsel the patient uh, patients' parents and uh, give them the regular exercise. So today I'm going to present a, a 27-day-old male neonate uh, who came with the history of blood trauma during vaginal delivery and it was presented with a right neck lump and torticollis since birth. So the high-frequency ultrasound was used to evaluate the neck swelling. And uh, during ultrasound, we saw a right sternocleidomastoid muscle swelling. Uh, it shows diffuse hypoechoic enlargement with fusiform thickening and a shortening, which causes the chin to be turned away from the affected side. So it was painful. The baby was crying like a hell. And there was no calcification seen. The color Doppler shows no definite abnormality. Uh, there was no prominent vascularity, or if it was uh, another type of mass, some malignant or benign masses, there should be something vascular. And adjacent thyroid, soft tissues, and other vasculatures show no definite abnormality. So here's the ultrasound picture. You can see the thyroid gland here. There's the isthmus, there's the right lobe and left lobe. There's the tracheal rings, and this is the common carotid artery on the right side. You can see the internal jugular vein also. And enter to this vasculature, you can see a hypoechoic enlarged area, which is nothing but the right sternocleidomastoid muscle. So uh, we have made a long section of the muscle now, and you can see the part of thyroid gland. This is the 
um, common carotid artery and internal jugular vein. You can see the right sternocleidomastoid muscle appears thickened and swollen. So uh, this is the um, fibromatosis coli, which is forming a pseudotumor. So it apparently looks like a thyroid gland actually, but this one is the thyroid. So this is a pseudotumor formed by the thickened fusiform swelled up sternocleidomastoid muscle on the right side. So let's see the video. Uh, you can see uh, this is the thyroid gland and this is the common carotid, uh, internal jugular vein, some uh, normal lymph nodes, and this is the swelled up sternocleidomastoid muscle on the right side. You see the fimbriated uh, structure because this is a muscle and uh, it's thickened, shortened, but swelled up, forming a pseudotumor known as fibromatosis coli. Let's look at another picture. You can see this is the uh, swollen and uh, thickened or hypoechoic fusiform swelling of the sternocleidomastoid muscle on the right side. A glimpse of few normal lymph nodes. This is the uh, pulsatile common carotid artery and internal jugular vein here. Here's the color Doppler picture. You can see on color Doppler, there is no aberrant vascular flow here. So if it was another type of, t any type of tumor, then there should be some type of vascularity. Sometimes due to inflammatory condition, uh, you may also see vascularity in uh, fibromatosis coli. So it will indicate uh, the inflammation of the muscle area. Here's the power Doppler picture to see more precisely. And still there is no aberrant vascular flow within the uh, muscle area. So ultimately the diagnosis is a case of fibromatosis coli involving the right sternocleidomastoid muscle. As for the management procedure, we uh, properly try to counsel the parents uh, for the conservative management and follow-up. So in conclusion, uh, we can say that the use of high-frequency ultrasound helped confirm and exclude other um, benign or malignant causes of neonatal neck masses and thus reducing the unnecessary radiation procedures. So these are my references. And uh, thank you for being with me. And hopefully you have enjoyed the Afsun 2024 in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, hope to see all of you who will attend Afsun 2025 in next year. And thank you for uh, being with me. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.